Good morning, ESM. Today is our final day of Pride Week, and we are going to be wrapping it all up with E. The E stands for excellence, and we'll cover that after news and announcements. As downtown Syracuse returns to hosting festivals after a COVID force hiatus, Festival Itali Italian takes City Hall this Saturday starting at 11 a.m. The celebration of Italian culture is free to enter the and will include home-cooked food from over 25 restaurants, music, and dance performances, and of course, the annual bounce tournament. Foo Fighters. The Foo Fighters arrived late at the St. Joseph's Health Amphitheater at Lakeview Wednesday night. The band was late due to their fight from New York City being delayed. The wait was worth it near sellout with the hits times like these ever long and best of you henniger high school the syracuse school district shut down henniger high school two students on thursday to complete construction after a brawl occurred at the school on wednesday morning wednesday morning students pulled the fire alarm forcing an evacuation of 1,600 students. Uh, several fights erupted as students w were waiting to go back inside. Additionally, a weapon search was also conducted Wednesday afternoon. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Okay. Okay. On Monday, September 20th, students and parents can attend the Eastside College Fair at Fayetteville Man Manlius High School from 5 to 7 p.m. Attendees here will have the opportunity to meet with admissions representatives from over 60 public and private universities. The fair will be outside. Class of 2024, please order your Color War shorts by midnight Monday, September 20th. The link is posted on the Classroom of 2024 Google Classroom. Any questions, please see Ms. Baker and Ms. Lorenzo. So here at ESM, we like to take pride in what makes each and every one of us excellent. Yeah, all of us, for sure. Definitely. Hey, that's kind of rude. You're I have look, plenty of things that make me excellent. Yeah, OK, definitely. I just, Oh, because you're so great? What do you do? Yeah, I have over 100 confirmed wins in Fortnite Arena. That's just not true. It is true, actually. I, I'm one of two seniors on the varsity baseball team. That's not a flex. <laughs> Guess we'll learn more about excellence in our school after weather. Today's weather is going to have a high of 684 and a low of 62 with a small chance of some spotty showers. The weekend is supposed to be nice. This Saturday has a high of 81 and a low of 56. There's also a small possibility of some scattered showers. Sunday is supposed to be a nice day with a low of 54 and a high of 77 and a 0% chance of rain. Um, I've gotten three wins, and uh, I've won a club series at Lafayette. That's about it. What makes me excellent is uh, in cross country and in track. Um, I really enjoy doing that, and I PR'd last season, so that was cool. And uh, in track, we went to states. Um, and we, we came in second, we almost won. It was close. Um, and we've been to uh, like states and regionals for cross country a couple times too. Good one, uh, John lied by the way, he's not actually good at anything. Uh, but I don't know, I guess I'm good at track just like he said he was, but yeah, he's not good at anything. All right, I got a quick dub in track last year in the two mile. 
so that was pretty fun. And then this year I'm gonna be running the the steeplechase, which is the two mile, as well. <laughs> Boys soccer won yesterday against Central Square 7-2. Vahid and M scored twice, and Evan DeBurgis, Todd Durantini, Caleb Tedesco, Garrett O'Donnell, and Eric Merkert all contributed to one goal. This is also Coach Carr's 200th win. The girls soccer team won yesterday against Central Square 1-0. Angelina Polcaro scored games only, games only goal assisted by Giselle Meckleham. The Washington football team beat the Giants 29-30 in a nail-biter comeback win, threw 360 yards and two touchdowns in a win. In fantasy news, some dark horse pickups in Jared Cook, Marquez Callaway, and Ted Bridgewater. Both boys golf teams played at Central Square at 3.30. Girls tennis plays at Fowler at 4.30 and the football team plays at Fulton at 6.30. Field hockey plays tomorrow against Liverpool at 10.45 and boys soccer plays at CBA at noon. Well, congrats to Mr. Carr on his 200 wins and his 200th year's birthday. Happy 200th birthday. Uh, hope you've learned how to be excellent and what excellence represents to us to at our school. Uh, but for me, Owen and everyone else here on The Morning Show, have a great day.